most welcome to the 11th lecture of my series on complex analysis. In our previous discussion, we have seen that if a function is harmonic in the whole complex plane or some open disk, then the function has a harmonic conjugate. That is, if u is harmonic in C, then there exist v such that fz is equal to u plus iv is analytic. Similarly, we can say if v is harmonic uh, in C, there exist u such that fz is equal to u plus iv is analytic. In our previous discussion, I had shown you if one of u and v is given, how to find the other one and how to construct fz. If you have forgotten, watch that video once again. The link is in the description below and you can see above as well. If you have watched the previous lecture, then you can remember that constructing fz in terms of z by the exact differential method discussed earlier may be tedious and difficult in some cases. To get rid of that difficulty and constructing fz in terms of z very easily, I shall discuss a simple but really elegant method proposed by Milne and Thomson in this video. The method is known as Milne-Thomson method. Let z is equals to x plus iy and if z is equal to u plus iv be analytic. Then from our discussion on analytic function, we can write that the derivative of f z denoted as f prime z will be equal to u suffix x at the point x y plus i into v suffix x at the point x y. Now I am pretty sure that you can remember that the symbol u suffix x at the point x y actually is equal to del u at the point x y del u del x. So uh, this is what is meant by this symbol and similarly v suffix x x y means del v del x at the point x y. So now if I use cauchy riemann equation here because f z is analytic. So by cauchy riemann equation, we know that u suffix x, x, y is equal to v suffix y, x, y and u suffix y, x, y is equal to minus v suffix x, x, y by CR equations, by cauchy riemann equations, by cauchy riemann equations. Therefore, using cauchy Riemann equations, this can be written as u suffix x at the point x, y minus i into u suffix y at the point x, y. Or we can write this as equal to, or we can write this as equal to v suffix y at the point x, y plus i into v suffix x at the point x, y. So if, if prime z, uh, the derivative of fz uh, can be written as equal to any one of these two. So I can write this as f prime z can be written as equal to either this or this by using cauchy riemann equations. So uh, this is a nice form for fz. You can understand that in the First uh, uh, representation, both the partial derivatives are done for u. And in the second representation, both the partial derivatives are done for v. So if I know u, then I can use the first form. If I know v, I can use the second form. Okay, fair enough. Let us see if we can simplify this further or not. Now, uh, z is equal to x plus iy. We know that z is equal to x plus iy. Fine. Therefore, z bar, that is the conjugate of z, will be equal to x minus iy. 
that is we can write that x is equal to z plus z bar divided by 2 and y is equals to z minus z bar divided by twice i. So uh, simply if we plug in these values in the above formula, what I get? Therefore, we get f prime z that is the derivative of fz is equal to u suffix x now x comma y. Now x is your z plus z bar divided by 2 comma z minus z bar divided by twice i minus i into u suffix y z plus z bar divided by 2 comma z minus z bar divided by twice i. So this is if I go with the first representation or if I go with the second representation, this can be written as Vy z plus z bar divided by 2 comma z minus z bar divided by twice i plus i into Vx uh, of at the point z plus z bar divided by 2 comma z minus z bar divided by twice i. I have simply plugged in the values of x and y found out here in terms of uh, in, in place of x and y uh, uh, that is in the above representation. So you can see now that in both the representations if prime z is expressed as a as a function of uh, these two this uh, variable z and z bar uh, conjugate of z. Uh, now you can treat this as an identity which will be true for every value of z. Now, to obtain the simplest form of this representation, if we plug in z equals to z bar, let us see what we get. This is, we are plugging in to obtain a simplest form of this representation. So, if we plug in z equals to z bar, what do we get? We get that f prime z is equal to ux, u suffix x. Now, z equals to z bar means if we simplify, we'll get z comma 0 minus i into u suffix y, uh, z comma 0. Or another representation can be v suffix y, z comma 0, plus i into v suffix x, z comma 0, means at the point z 0. The z comma 0 means at the point z 0. So fine. Uh, this is the simplest form which we can obtain. Therefore, if we apply the concept of antiderivative or integration, we can write, hence, if z, by applying the simple concept of antiderivative or integration, we can write if z is equal to integration of u suffix x at the point z0 minus i into u suffix y at the point z0 dz plus c or we can write fz as equal to integration of v suffix y at the point z0 plus i into v suffix x at the point z0 uh, dz plus c, where c is a real but undetermined constant. So we have got a nice way to find out if z, if any one of u or v is given to us. You can understand very easily that if u is given, we are going to use the first form. And if v is given, we are going to use the second form and the method that I discussed here is known as the Milne-Thompson method. Now let us see how we can solve problems using this method. The problem is construct the analytic function fz equals to u plus iv in terms of z where 
u is given as x cube minus 3xy square plus 3x square minus 3y square plus 1. Okay, fine. You know that to show this or to construct the analytic function fz in this way, we first need to uh, uh, be sure that the harmonic conjugate of u actually exists. And we know that when the harmonic conjugate of u will exist, when this u will be a harmonic function in the complex plane. So first we need to check that whether this u is a harmonic function or not. That means whether this u satisfies the Laplace equation uxx plus uyy equals to zero or not. Okay, let us uh, check that. So here, can you tell me what will be my ux? ux will be 3x square minus 3y square plus 6x. So this is my uh, uh, ux, uh, u suffix x, that means del u del x. Uh, therefore, what will be my u suffix xx, that means del 2u del x2, that will be uh, 6x plus 6. Fantastic. Uh, similarly here, what will be my u suffix y, that is del u del y? For this problem, it will be minus 6xy minus 6y. Fine. Therefore, what will be my u suffix yy, del 2u del y2? That will be minus 6x minus 6. So you can understand, therefore, uxx, that means u suffix xx plus u suffix yy del 2u del x2 plus del 2u del y2 equals to 0. If you add the 2, you will get 0. Hence, we can say that is this function u is harmonic. That means this u will have a harmonic conjugate v and uh, 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 such that fz is equals to u plus iv is analytic. So now uh, the we can we can construct the function fz by using the uh, method we discussed above, that is Milne-Thomson method. So according to the formula for Milne-Thomson method, which you can see on your screen, here u is given. So I can comfortably find out the uh, 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 function fz using the first representation. Therefore, uh, we need to find out what is ux at the point z0 and what is uy at the point z0, means u suffix x at the point z0 and u suffix y at the point z0. Therefore, u suffix x at the point z0, that means del u del x at the point z0 will be 3z square plus 6z. I'll simply plug in x equal to z and y equal to 0. And similarly, u suffix y at the point z comma 0 will be equal to uh, 0. It is 0 because everywhere y is present, so 0. Therefore, as per my formula, according to milne thomson method, my fz will be equal to integration of u suffix x at the point z comma 0 minus i into u suffix y at the point z comma 0 dz plus c, where c is a real but undetermined constant. And if we plug in the value of u suffix x at the point z0, this will be equal to integration of 3z square plus 6z uh, dz plus c. So if we apply the concept of antiderivative or integration, we get this is equal to z cube plus 3z square plus c. Therefore, if z is equal to z cube plus 3z square plus c, and this is my answer. So this is my f z represented in terms of z. And you can, uh, you can understand that this is analytic also. So this is how you can solve problems using uh, Milne-Thompson method. Now, uh, the point is, you can find out the harmonic conjugate of u also from this uh, 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 representation. Can you tell me how? 
Yes, very simple. Substitute z equals to x plus i y. Then separate the real and imaginary part. The real part will be your u and the imaginary part will be your v. So this is indeed a very efficient method to find out, uh, to construct the analytic function as well as to find out the harmonic conjugate also if if one 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 is given how uh, you can find out very easily the other one so now if u is given we have used the first representation similarly if in a problem v is given you can solve exactly in the same way but in that case you have to use the second representation in the formula as we discussed so now the next problem will remain as your homework. If f z is equal to u plus i v is an analytic function of z equals to x plus i y and u minus v equals to e to the power x into cosine y minus sine y, find f z in terms of z. So solve this problem and let me know your answer or if you have any doubt, you have any question in the comment section below. In the next video, I will solve five special type of problems based on uh, uh, the exact differential method for finding harmonic conjugate and this milne thompson method. So, see you again uh, in the next video. Take care.